Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. So, to solve this problem for my solution, I'm going to first, let me rewrite uh, the equation right here. Now, to start, just by looking at this equation, what can we infer? Well, notice how we have x to the power of y minus something is equal to 17. And 17 is greater than 0, right? Meaning, x to the power of y is greater than y to the power of x. And this also must mean that x is greater than y, and y is greater than 0. So now that we know this, I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. And x to the power of y, I can rewrite this as x to the power of y to the power of 2 over 2, because 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. And x to the power of y to the power of 1 is the same thing as x to the power of y. Now this, I can rewrite as x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So I can switch these up. Now y to the power of x, I can also change this up as well. So y to the power of x, I can rewrite that as y to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2. And this, I can rewrite as y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. Now from here, remember my original equation was x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals 17. Now I can replace x to the power of y with x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2, and y to the power of x with y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2 minus y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 17. Now I'm going to let x to the power of y over 2 equal to the variable a and y to the power of x over 2 equal to the variable b. So now if I substitute in a for x to the power of y over 2 and b for y to the power of x over 2, I get a squared minus b squared is equal to 17. Now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So a squared minus b squared, that's going to equal a plus b times a minus b is equal to 17. Now the only factors of 17 are 1 and 17, meaning that one of these two has to be 17 and the other one has to be 1. So just by looking at this, we can tell that a plus b is going to be 17, and a minus b is going to be 1, because a plus b is greater than a minus b. Meaning, a, I have two equations, a plus b equals 17, and a minus b, b is equal to 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. a plus a is 2a, b minus b is 0, so these two cancel out, and 17 plus 1 is 18. So I get 2 equals 18, and if I divide both sides by 2, I get a is equal to 9. Now I can plug back in a for 9 into my original equation. So let's we could just do either one. I'm going to do a plus b equals 17. If I plug in a for 9, I get 9 plus b equals 17, meaning b is equal to 8. So a equals 9, b equals 8. And we can even check it over here. Let's plug both of these in. a is 9 minus b is 8. And 9 plus 8 does equal 1. So now that we know a is 9 and b equals 8, 
we can go back here and notice how we let x to the power of y over 2 equal a and y to the power of x over 2 equal b, meaning x to the power of y over 2 is equal to 9 and y to the power of x over 2 is equal to 8. So to solve this, let's first start by solving the first equation. So x to the power of y over 2 equals 9. I can first start by taking the power of 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of y is equal to 81. Now 81, I can rewrite that as 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to do the same thing to y to the power of x over 2. I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides, and then these two cancel out, so I get y to the power of x is equal to 64. Now 64, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of y equals 3 to the power of 4, and y to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 3. Well, what does that mean? Well, y, 4, x, 3, and over here, y, 4, x, 3, meaning x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So this is my solution to this equation. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 16. So, to solve this problem, my solution, my first start by rewriting my problem here. So I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 16. And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 12 minus 16. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as 2 times 12 in my exponent. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, we have 2 to the power of 2 times 12. And I can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 16. And now I'm going to rewrite 16 as 4 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Notice how we have 2 to the power of 12 squared minus 4 squared. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12, and b is 4. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 4. Now, 2 to the power of 12, what is this equal to? Well, we know that 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1,024, meaning 2 to the power of 11 is the same thing as 1,024 times 2, which is 2,048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to, one, sorry, 2,048 times 2, which is 4,096. So I get 4,096 plus 4 times 4,096 minus 4. Now from here, 4,096 plus 4, that's equal to 4,100. And 4,096 minus 4 is equal to 4,092. So I get 4,100 times 4,092. And now we have to find a way to solve this. 
without a calculator. Because, well, the first method everyone would think of is just doing it sim normally, right? But this is wrong because it's going to take way too long and we need a more efficient method. So how are we going to multiply these two quickly? Well, we, what we can do is rewrite 4,100 as 4,000 plus 100, and we write 4,092 4, as 4,000 plus 92. Now, the reason I did this is because now I can distribute. So I'm going to distribute 4,000 first. 4,000 times 4,000 is 4,000 squared. Now, 4,000 times 92. And now I have this plus, you can distribute the 100. So I have 100 times 4,000 plus 100 times 92. Now from here, 4,000 squared is going to equal 1,600,000. Or sorry, 16 million. Plus 4,000 times 92 is going to be 368,000. Plus 100 times 4,000 is going to be 4, 400,000. Plus 100 times 92 is 9,200. Now this is equal to 1 million, or sorry, 16 million plus 368,000 plus 400,000 is 768,000. And I have this plus 9,200. And this is all equal to, I have 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,200. Well, let's do first row. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Second row, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Third row, 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. Fourth row, 0 plus 8 plus 9 is 17. We're going to carry the 1. Fifth row, 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9. Sixth row, 0 plus 7 is 7. Seventh row, I just have 6. And eighth row, I have 1. So I get 16,797,000. 200. So this, or sorry, looks like I made a mistake. This is actually a six. So this should be carry the one, six plus one, which is seven. So I get 16,777,200. So this is my answer to 500 squared. Sorry, that's not. It's my answer to 2 to the power of 24 minus 16.